All right, everybody. Good evening, one and all. It is one Friday night. We are already off and running. Please share that you are watching. Yes, Friday night. We are ready to roll. We already have some action. First stop of the night. We're going to be going to Cranston momentarily here. Oh, folks on the scene, live stream. Thank you, Roberta. Our one crew. Yep. We want to thank uh, Tom, who's in Cranston. And right now we have a uh, active situation. We're going to see what we find. Or nah, one and all. Folks, I'll introduce Mark. Well, many of you know him. Been doing it for a while. And now things. Good evening, one and all. There we go. Hello there. And let's see what we're going to find. It's very possible there's an individual in there of the house surrounded. So, folks, keep your fingers crossed if we have some form of a standoff one could only hope by the way huge standoff in uh, Worcester today huge standoff in Worcester okay uh, he was firing at the officers the guy he shot two of his neighbors and um, okay confirm Roberta thank you but folks, we're going to see exactly uh, what the situation is. We are less than 10 minutes out. We have what we believe to be already an active scene in the city of Cranston. We're going to check it out, folks. And again, I will be adjusting, you know, camera angles during the course of the night. I can see it right now. And it looks like the camera's a little tilted, but that's okay. I can adjust that. We will adjust it. But a number of, uh, I want to thank a number of you who have contacted on me already. Or no, one at all. Saying there's a, I saw a bunch of cars going. And then I want to thank Tom, who's been checking that out. Thank you to Colleen. Okay. But it was Tom that picked up on it. Friday night, and we are off to the races. We will be back with Cranston Police next week, but we may be seeing them momentarily. Let's check out our first scene of the night. And I believe we're going to see our Cranston friends coming up momentarily folks so the, the the plan is wherever there is something going on we'll be there but we're going to start off what we're hearing is an active scene in the city of Cranston if you have a question we have our team one moderators ideally can answer we are literally about two to three minutes out from to see what this scene is with the Cranston police. Folks, it's a beautiful Friday night. Perfect night for one on the scene live stream.
Ford Law. We are ready to roll. More than on time. Early. near the ice rink. Feet have yep. Mark is an excellent driver. He's got the address. And we are almost there and we should see Print some police on the scene and then we're going to take it from there. Thank you to everybody here. Uh, support for on the scene live stream has been fantastic. Oh yeah, folks, here we go. Wow. I think this is a trooper. No, it is. Why don't we, why don't we can we go? Let's go ahead then. Let's go around. Okay. Can you turn that down? Yeah. Please stage down the street if there's any type of yes. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. It shows that it's the N one down there. Okay. Um, why don't we go until we see someone stop us? Unless oh, does this end at the bottom? Yeah, it's a dead end. Okay. Area. Okay, I'm jumping out. Yep. Okay. You see Cranston police right there. Okay, they're talking to him by the bullhorn. Folks, you're watching live. Telling them to come to the front door.
Okay. All right, folks, we have an armed standoff. Cranston police. They asked us to back up just a little bit. Folks, we're in Cranston. You're watching a live standoff. She that you are watching, definitely, uh, if you know of someone in the Cranston area. Cranston, please have. You can hear them calling out to him to come to the front door. Folks, you're watching live standoff. Cranston police have this home surrounded. In Cranston, you can hear them calling out to him. Again, you're watching. This is a, a live standoff. 
individual went into the house and Cranston police are trying to get him to come out of the house. I don't know who that is. All right, folks, somebody just pulled up. See they're going up right there. I think they went that one. I think too. Folks, that was a Cranston police you just saw go by with an individual. They're calling out to him right now. So Folks, we're going to move over a little bit. We have a good shot right there.
folks again. It is Juan. Earlier there was a report of someone that was uh, like throwing rocks and then police were called here and he has now retreated into the home. They have a friend of his there trying to talk him out. Standoff in Cranston is exactly right. Folks, share that you are watching. Remember, type in someone's name if they're in Cranston. You can share it. You can hear the, you can hear the Cranston police and then this other individual trying to talk to them. Thank you for the stars on this Friday night. Uh, I'm going to show you in a moment. We're off uh, Deer Run. If you enjoy on the scene live stream, folks, no filter, no script, unedited live stream action. Make sure you follow the page. show you where we are in just a moment. Folks, again, good evening on this Friday. You're watching. This is a live standoff in Cranston, Cranston Police and Matt. Now, we don't know if it's Matt from Alley's. Dear Run. I don't think it is. Someone said, is that Matt from Alley's? I don't think so unconfirmed this has been going on for maybe 20 minutes max I mean we got here in a hurry <laughs> I don't 
riding tonight. I'm following tonight. Of course I'm not riding tonight. This is going on. <laughs> Very close to Nancy McCormick. We're trying to determine that. That has not been disclosed. I'm going to move back a little bit, try another angle. We have a uh, standoff here in Cranston. Folks, and it's not your imagination. There seemingly has been a lot more standoffs lately. It's almost starting to become the norm. Again, there was a violent one in Worcester today. Right, we're going to give them some privacy. Folks, again, good evening on this Friday. You're watching Juan on the Scene live stream. We have a standoff here in Cranston. Deer Run. I'm going to check the time in just a moment. This uh, broke out right around 8.20. top of the street you have first responders standing by. Now they've gone quiet at the moment so we don't know if they are trying to communicate with him another way. Folks, 9 o'clock in the east. You're watching Juan on the scene live stream. We have a uh, arm standoff at Cranston. Cranston police trying to get this individual to come out of the home. So far, they've been unsuccessful.
trying to get Matt to come out. Yeah, Willie was even calling to him. We want to thank Tom of Team One was the first one. Well, because why are we whispering? It's because it's very tense and it's quiet and the last thing they need is a loud voice. So in case they can hear any type of movement or anything like that. Exactly. All right, so there's some more movement now. I'm trying to give the police a little privacy. They have this house surrounded. And they want to talk with the individual inside. exactly right. There was some incident earlier which led to all of these police booking over here. So I started hearing from different people that saw the police response. Well, kind of. I mean, there's the Cranston police and we're live, so I guess technically it is. This started less than an hour ago, less than an hour ago. We've been on scene 
for about 25 minutes. This started right around 8.20 and right now it's just a couple of minutes of past 9 o'clock in the east. Folks again, yep, so 8.20, we're in Cranston Deer Run. Cranston police have this home surrounded and they want the individual to come out, they want to talk to him. Earlier today, there was a, I, I don't know the status of it, but in Worcester, folks, there was a standoff that started at 8.30 this morning, and it was still going on. Well, is this live PD? Well, there's police and we're live, so if it walks like a duck, I don't know about that. But today was a very significant day with the bank heist. For those of you that saw it, they are closing in, it would seem. Police today raided a storage unit in North Providence off Mineral Spring Avenue. And I think inside they got or found, quote, close to $400,000. But they are working on and making huge gains in that case. And that was just a week ago. So last Thursday night, actually early Friday morning, the Federal Hill Bank robbed 498000 out of the vault. 2 o'clock in the morning, in and out in three minutes. Today, a week later, they raided the storage unit, Mineral Spring Avenue. Think so? Right now it's quiet. Folks, this uh, street is lined with police cars. <laughs> they, uh, they ignored, they took all the money out of the vault. They ignored the uh, bearer bonds and ignored the loose cash. No, the police are not in their cars, but I'm not... I'm not showing them. <sighs> I'm with Cranston police. I'm just not riding with them. Guys, don't get hung up on that stuff. I gotta change the marketing here. All right, you're filming the Cranston police. You're at a Cranston police scene, but are you riding with them? I believe we're gonna ride with them next Friday night. No, I'm okay. In heat, it's the opposite. They ignored the loose cash and just took the bearer bonds because they didn't have time because they were on a clock. Because what difference does it make? Why leave a live witness? Folks, the name I'm hearing, one of the people in the bank said Slick hit the alarm. The name that I'm hearing is Sherito. Michael Sherito. A lot of jailhouse tats. Got a big ass peacock right here. And he's a fiend for action. What makes you think it's an inside job? Oh, because they knew the codes to get into the bank 
and then get into the vault and they got it in and out in three minutes right all right folks you are looking live and we have Cranston police right at the bottom of the hill to your right of the screen your cousin let me tell you something there'd be no knocking off banks on the hill if Raymond was still alive a week ago those people thought maybe they had pulled it off You know, driving away, I'm sure they did feel they had pulled it off. But it's like the scene in Heat. We did it, Neil. And all of a sudden, boom. Alright, folks, they're saying they're going to try to... They may go in. This guy's their last ditch effort. That's right. All right, folks. So they're saying if this does, if this guy's not successful, then they're going in. Yes, but are you riding with them? Street, sir. your bingo card had that they were going to approach me. Collect. Now, he was one of the people brought in. Can you imagine? He, the other guy was brought in. Oh, okay. Alright, so they've had enough of that. Like, I should be the least of his worries. Can you imagine there's seven police cars, SWAT gear out, your friend is in the house, and he's like, hey, wait a minute, is that that guy Juan filming? <laughs> I know. Who knows? Of course I am. I'm not getting into it. All right, here we go.
looks like they got him out of the house. Folks, they got him out. Did show up. Oh, yeah. Of course. <laughs> Success, you got him out. If we got him out, yeah. Peacefully. Yes. Folks, again, you, nope, that was, well, Officer Scotty is here. Okay. Yeah, that was Sergeant McHugh. Sergeant McHugh. All right, folks, that is the situation here in Cranston. It is one on the scene live stream. Cranston police were able to get him out. That was Sergeant McHugh. That got him. How about that, folks? On the scene, live stream. All right, we're going to go to Providence. <laughs> we ready? All right, folks, we're going to roll. Great job by the Cranston police. More activity down there, but... buggy out there, isn't it? All right, everybody, hold on one moment, because i got to switch back to microphones. Okay. Um, all right, we're off to a good start. Nope. Hold on. Oops, Cranston police got him out. Bear with me, everybody. What else do I have them on me? Oh, I do. Okay. Okay. Here's the neighbors. He's in an ambulance. Uh, Roberta was switching back to our mobile mics. 
and I believe we have some activity in the city of Providence. Okay, so we're going to head. 242, switch to 3. 42 to 3. Thank you, Roberta. All right, folks, we are off. Now, let me check in with, uh, thank you. All right, we'll check in. Uh, it's, it's impossible to, to catch the ATVs, but thank you, David. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. All right. All right, folks, could you, oh, let me adjust that. Put that there. Okay. We'll get our... All right. Well, that was good, Mark. Very good. Yes. First call of the night, folks. Here we go. That's what we're talking about. Thank you, everybody. Now we are on our way. We stay live. Thank you, one and all. That's where the practice comes in. Thank you for all the stars. Make sure you sub subscribe to the page if you can. Just spoiler alert, it's 24 cents a week. Okay. We're going to uh, monitor. Now, I want everyone to understand, we will... Um, Great job. That was Sergeant, folks, thumbs up for Sergeant McHugh, Cranston Police. He was the one with the long gun. Sounds like, you know, what I like, folks, is they give the diplomacy a chance. And then that was about it. Then they were ready. Yep. All right. Now I want um, I want everyone to understand. So we are monitoring. <coughs> excuse me. All of the the, the various news. Uh, excuse me. First responders. And right now it's nine thirty. It was a very good first hour. And um, we're gonna see where the night brings us. Now, if something happens in Warwick, we'll go to Warwick. And we have people. We depend on David of Team One on that. Man, I'm looking clear. I have nothing showing in this area. We must have seized from the night. Temple. So we go where the news is. Just understand that. Folks, make sure you also, make sure you follow the page. We have so many new people or people like to come on. That way you find out, notified when we go live. Right now it's just 9.30. Nine thirty-two in the east. We're going to be riding with Chris with Cranston next Friday night. Then plus we have the St. Mary's feast coming up. Sorry, I'm 
seeing a Boston reporter heard a handful of pops coming from down the street at the standoff Colby Avenue in Worcester. 24-year-old shot two family members and has been barricaded in the home ever since. So that is still going on. All right, breaking. Sources tell WZ he's in police custody. 13-hour standoff. Shot two relatives, fired a police, barricaded himself in. So the Worcester... The Worcester standoff has come to an end. Folks, and that was, now think of it, that was 13. <laughs> no, no such thing. Never. Uh, so great work. But my point in mentioning that was, if you remember the the North Providence standoff was 16 hours long. 16 hours long. Last last July. Okay. Here we go. Now, we're sending me something. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, we moved on. Okay, thank you for that. Oh, there he is. Okay, there's the individual. I see. He lives there. How old? Uh, 40. He's in his 40s. All right, so folks, we are on the road, on the scene live stream. The St. Mary's Feast is not this weekend. Oh, it's in late July, right? It's late July. St. Mary's Feast is not this weekend. I don't know who put that. this weekend. It runs July 19th through Sunday, July 23rd. So, exactly. I don't know who, who put that it was going to be this. I'm not going to focus on it, but like, I, I thought we've already uh, talked about the wrong information. Okay. just with that standoff you know it would have been good if we would Sergeant McHugh but that's okay right yeah okay. with Sergeant Mark all right where the hell are we all right here we go we're gonna uh all right well we're gonna enter Providence no I don't know Yeah, it's this weekend. Go and look. Go and let me know how it is. Yes, of course. Yeah, I don't want people to get caught up on that. Is this? Is this one on the same live stream with Mark, or is it Cranston PD Live? Yeah, now, I believe, I'll have to check, I think they're going to be doing another, another watch party. Yes, I think on the 21st.
Okay, so the, they got to do one the week of the uh, the feast. Or four days, whatever. Five days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Folks, I hope everyone appreciated. We were right there, and then I stepped back just to give them room. But we certainly got good video of the shirtless suspect being brought, the lead out of the house by Cranston police. Party, the property manager, he four or five subjects who are monitoring on camera. Right, we're monitoring him. Oh, and here we go. There's seven over. No, it's just a traffic stop. Folks, please share that you're watching. Thank you, everybody, on this Friday, 9.39. You're watching. You're riding in Juan Force One. Mark is driving. When I talked about us riding together, this is what I had more in mind. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Out of the box with a standoff. Oh, that's folks, that's my lucky night. Christmas has arrived early for Santa Juan. Yes. Well, and let me explain. I mean, it's it's high drama. It's unknown. It's unscripted. Who knows what's going to happen? Whenever they bring the long guns out. Just rolling, or are we going to a specific location? No, I'm just listening. Okay. Okay. Oh, good. Oh, so there's the family dollar. Oh. 
problems. All right, David okay, says. I'm trying to stop them. Oh. I'm trying to catch up to them now. Oh, is this the erratic driver? No okay. All right, folks, we got a car chase going right now. Folks, again, remember if you like the uh, on the scene live stream action, if everyone watching right now said 200 stars helps us, Facebook uh, Meta gives you different metrics you have to hit. We want to stay in their good graces. It's better than anything playing in the movies or on television right now. Remember, you can watch this on your big screen TV if you get a fire stick, as a lot of people do, and then this will be shown on YouTube. A lot of people like it on YouTube because then they watch it on the big screen. So you can do that as well. Control for that erratic operator call. We went down to Naughty Park. Oh. Was unable to locate it. Oh. And then northbound on Route 7. What did he say? Group of what? Maybe oh. ATVs? Alright, folks, we got some ATV action going. Remember, if you type in someone's name, that should uh, notify them to tune in. Let's see. Riverdale. Hi, that's going to be George Victor 547. Are we in Silver Lake? Yeah. yeah. Folks, we've made it back to the lake. Cassett Avenue. Folks, manicured lawns. Large Italian population. No longer. That is not the Silver Lake of 2023. Alorza was the final nail in the coffin of the lake. Now, folks, coming up uh, end of July, Gang Initiation Weekend, we'll have full coverage all weekend long. The gangs recruit, and then it's Initiation Weekend where the uh, pledges, the gang members are assigned certain crimes to commit. We'll have full coverage. Three miles an hour, they're all over the road. Oh, here we go. All right, folks, we got a car chase What's coming. 10 four, car six, copy. Copy. That's a tactical gear weekend. The liquor stores are always busy. Always. Yep. Folks. Gang Initiation Weekend brought to you by Surplus Provisions, sponsor of our coverage, Tactical Gear and more, Surplus Provisions, Pontiac Avenue in Cranston. There's one light out on that vehicle. Oh, that just seemed to be one of them. They are proud sponsors of Gang Initiation Weekend coverage. Now, for some reason, I'm the only one that covers that stuff. Channel 6 is yeah. not doing coverage no, this I'm year. Instead, they decided to do the Bristol Fourth of July Parade. Which they can have. All right, here we go. Friday night. Juan riding shotgun. Whoa. <laughs> Mark doing excellent driving. Right in the lake. Oneyville. Yep, folks now entering Oneyville. Hard to believe they don't have good drivers on Oneyville. 
Folks, I also want to remind everyone, this is now the first official weekend where all the illegals now have their driving cards. So, you want to be extra on guard. Yeah, oh, 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 something's up. Control still around in operation speed at 35. Hold on. They're moving in on the car chase. Big shout out to Tom. He's Cranston, part of Team One. This road is difficult for people that know it in daytime. Now illegals are riding around these roads at night. Pitch black, no signs. All right, folks, just 9.49. Yeah, I'm telling you. You know, I'm going to ask Mayor Smiley about these speed bumps. It is a little ridiculous. There's too many of them, yeah. It's kind of funny. Oh. It's kind of funny that I was not with Cranston yeah. Police tonight, but we had a tremendous Cranston Police call. Yeah. Be Bucket West. Oh, here we go. Now we don't know what that is. No. Who knows? And there's only one car, so. Any guess? We've been in there before when they uh, pulled out somebody with a weapon, I think. That's correct. Yeah. Folks, there's Jake Hale, Janari, the late Tony Freitas, rest in peace. Hola. Good evening, one and all. It is Juan. Friday night. Heading towards North Providence? Was it Chase? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's the same guy they've been following all It is? Okay. Well, we could do that, right? Yeah, 146. He's just trying to get a oh. location of where he is okay. now. Sounded like he was over Providence heading toward North Providence. Okay. Yes. They did terminate, but I don't know how many departments terminated. Okay. 
We could head out. Which, uh, if we take, um, which we we'll call it. Actually, instead of going the highway, if you, you go in through, like, Chad Brown to Admiral, right, like over there. It's not like you went to the end of Middle Spring. Oh, okay. Over by Johnston, and then that's why I was trying to see what road they were on, but okay. they terminated, so I don't know uh, okay. what direction the guy went. Hey, maybe it's the, the bank heist people. Folks, there's the uh, public, public safety uh, complex. No riots. No. So are you thinking Smith in the North Providence that way? It was coming out of North Providence. It came out of Smithfield down Middle Spring. Okay. To the end. Okay. I don't know which way they went from there. All right. Let's, let's, can we head over to that direction? I am. Okay. Straight ahead of Smith Street. Okay. So if they did come down Smith, they would be coming right towards us. Okay. Folks, these could be the uh, bank suspects. Thought they were heist in the bank. Without permission, by the way. Can't rob the hill. Folks, you can't rob the hill with getting the blessing from the old man. North Providence has the call. All right, we want to head to North Providence. Yeah. Oh, okay. The Rotary Centerdale and Motorcycle. Okay. Good job by David. So we're going to try to... That was the last update I heard. Though. Okay. And after that... They yeah, I did hear that. Okay. Well, then, we'll check it out. Yeah, absolutely. Folks up on the hill. I did hear that. I heard the Sentinel Road Rotary. Okay. So that's North Providence. Good job by David. Again, 9.55, folks, we're going to go. They've been uh, chasing someone. Could be uh, connected to the bank heist. Yes, good evening to our friend Michael. Yeah. Those that are just tuning in, we had an uh, hour-long standoff in Cranston, armed. The Cranston police. Sergeant McHugh with, well, I'd say the assist, but he was the one leading the guy out. Folks, there are the bike lanes. Hola. And we just went by Valley Street. We're coming up to Truckstone, and we're going to go down Smith. He just uh, another update. Yep. At 9.57. So, last early uh, morning hours, Friday morning, was the Federal Hill bank heist. 500,000. They got into the vault. Uh, well, 498,000. But anyhow, three minutes in and out. Had the outside code and then the code to the vault. The timer on the vault was not set. It's supposed to be. Whoa. Three minutes in and out. 
and um, and then today they raided a storage unit in um, in North Providence on Mineral Spring. So connected to that, so they are moving in on that. Smith. Folks, there's before Creamery. Heavy PC area. And then Huxley, that was the street where the uh, rapper Hammer Beans was uh, taken out in the driveway. A member of um, a member of the Harriet Street Gang. That was also connected with, uh, that was the night that they grabbed the gun of Pinkerton and Mann on Mitchell Street, right near Niagara. That was in the uh, Maya Brophy Bearman. Came out the, the murder trial. Hammer Beans was an aspiring rapper, member of the Harriet Street Gang. Is there any fact you need that the vehicle was first of all, Peter Traffic accident, Carnival Pole. Oh, yeah. Yes. From a detective that's doing a detail in the area, North Main Rochambeau traffic, uh, traffic accident with these car into a pole, I'm going to start rescuing the rescue rest of the street. Yeah, that's Oh, well, we had some excitement. Absolutely. <laughs> Good thing. Oh, as you, folks, as you know, there's there's an ebb and flow. There's just an ebb and flow. Even when I'm with. <laughs> even when I'm with the, the Cranston police, there's an ebb and flow. All right. 
Are we in North? Are, they, are we in North Province yet? Oh yeah. Yeah. See, at the moment, seems quiet. Folks, this is the type of stuff I deal with. And, and Judy Abadi. Where is it? What happened on Deer Run? Uh, <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'm live. Why don't you tune in and you can find out? <laughs> Uh, Judy, Judy, Judy. Task Force, sir. I know this is Foster's call, but do you want me to see if Gloucester has their canine? Yes. Ooh. Who has a canine? Uh, Gloucester. Oh. Ah. I don't know. What the hell's going on up there? I was looking for someone, but they didn't say why. Oh, all right. That seems, sounds a little buggy. Folks, how about the guy who comes up to me? Now, in the middle of that, long guns out, Grants and SWAT, trying to get the guy to come out. Hey, who are you filming? Uh, that's always the way. All right, good evening, everybody. It does not seem like we have the chase. Whoa. No. We could chase them and keep up. Nope. Yeah. Looking a little quiet in NP. Mm. They had them in the rotary in uh, Centerdale. Yeah, Centerdale Revival. But I refuse to treat one hospital. I'll be advised to stay inside the house. Oh. Who's going to sober up? Bacchus? Uh -huh. Folks, they've got Bacchus at the hospital and they're going to try to sober her up. I was speaking with the war police officer the other day who was telling me the whole story. The Bacchus story, folks. And again, I want to repeat the no relation to Jim Bacchus who played uh, Mr. Thurston, Magoo with, no and Thurston Howell. Downtown cars, I've been going to the scan. All right, let's head back to uh, PVD. I see, we're doing the loop because this okay. is uh, the rotary in Centerdale. Yep. They, they couldn't catch him. North Providence Town Hall. Looks like spoke with Mayor Lombardi the other day. He was actually away, but we had a nice conversation. It's going to be out with the, be 95 southbound prior to exit 93. storage unit. See if there's any extra cash laying around. If you saw Breaking Bad, Walter White had 80 million in a storage unit and he sent Hugh and Bill Burr to go deliver it for him. Scoop it up. Put it in the black barrels then off to the desert. And where Hank and Lopez met their demise because of Jack and the white supremacist. Jack! 
Jesse tricked him. We're back into PVD. We were trying to find the. Uh, they were doing a chase on someone. Crap. But it did not happen. Yeah. You know, as much as people question why do people run from police, sometimes they get away. Yeah. Not in the old days. No. Now. Yeah. Friday night, we are in Providence. It is Juan and Mark. I'm riding shotgun. Mark is driving. Uh, There's going to be a Rhode Island one. The other one is still on no extradition, but the Rhode Island one. The scene live stream. It's 10.09. It's hot out. David tells us Warwick is quiet. 1095 at 2210. That's one coming. Scrinich is quiet. That's two coming. Cranston had their activity. It's time for Providence to step up. Providence. Yeah, speed folks, back. here come the speed humps. As soon as you cross the line. Yep. I'm going to take the high speed lane. Oh. Well, I told something. Cars get something going on. Street. Oh, that was at the graduate. I think, I think so. Yeah. Wait, 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 the, way back to the old Biltmore. Somebody fell down. Yes, sir. Folks, he's ghost. Twelve minutes past uh, ten. You're watching one on the scene live stream at quite the activity earlier in Cranston. And at the 
Friday night, it is in July, obviously, not breaking any news there, okay, alright, shout out to Susan, Tom, Nancy, David, of course, Roberta and Ann, thank you Ryan, by the way, Ryan Masterson, Folks, you can be a member of Team One. Don't forget, in the shop, we even have merchandise, Team One. All right, now that looks very suspicious. <laughs> no, I'm just whoa, kidding. Yeah, you should go around me. Yeah. Right away. It's just light. This is the light that doesn't change ever. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right, that's a slow light. Very slow. Yeah. Folks, 1014, Friday night. Hola. On this Friday night, July 7th. And, hey, just for... Well, just a reminder, we will be uh, active all weekend long. This buttonhole, of course. Oh. Alright, something's breaking. Thank you. Yeah, I know. That was a close one. Isn't it funny you start to associate different sections when stuff goes like that? I could do a tour. Like, okay, that's where that happened, that's where that happened. We're at Hartford. Good night. Who's who's leaving? Folks, the night is young. This is what we wait for. Drops to 20 in January. So does the crime rate. <laughs> I'll take a July night anytime. My goodness. Although, listen, hey, if you have to be somewhere you are tired, you can watch it tomorrow on demand. Whoa. That's one of the reasons it's good it's on demand. You can watch it at your leisure. Is this No. Plainfield. Plainfield, okay. Respond to the 
area. Uh, um, Matthews and Washington are just probably the difference. What's the mail with our lecture loop for the town? Hey, I just spoke to that subject after that turned it down. Have a more disregard. Another speed hump. Alright, now there go some suspicious looking people. We're on, I'm in contact with them now. He said he was right across from the police station. He's going to make his way into the lobby now. That's one. Okay. Is this Picasso? Yeah. Okay. Was that, was that guy wearing tactical gear or just a shirt? He was on your side. Are there fireworks? Is that fireworks? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh. These roads are brutal. Folks, again, just an update that uh, standoff in Worcester has come to an end. Wow. They got him in custody, by the way. That's huge. They got him alive. Worcester suspect. 13-hour standoff. Shot two relatives and was firing at police. He's in a little bit of trouble. Ooh, a rabbit. Wait, there's rabbits everywhere. We have hit oh, a little bit of a lull. Oh, Laurel Hill. Okay.
clear. Alright, we got 20 to 30 people fighting at Rocky Point. Really? Yeah. We might as well head that direction. It's final destination. Alright. Uh, at the park or at a. Looks like a walkway. Yeah. Oh, forget it. Fighting stopped. Okay. Alright. Are we on, is this Crescent Street? Yes. Yeah. Let's go down into Providence a little bit. Okay. Shout out to Troy. Troy's saying stop into the 7-Eleven for interviews, but I don't think I'm going to do that. <laughs> no, we're going to just go straight. Folks, this is uh, Cranston Street, Cranston, and then it does turn into Providence. And this 7-Eleven is a lot of activity. All right, here we go. Friday night. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. On the scene live stream. Let's see what we see. Thank you for all the stars tonight, everyone. Yep. There's Potters. A little early. Uh oh. All right, folks, here we go. Something's up. That's odd. Someone's playing a loud radio. It's a nice outfit. Well, it's hot out. Is she with the guy on the bike? Don't know. Oh, all right. She said she's looking for a date. Glorious sports bar. Maybe we'll go in there and grab a brew. 8 10 10 in front of Wayne Elm, grocery 198 on street with seven subjects. Oh. Alright, we want that. One socket. Oh, Alright, forget it. Hello. Hola. Kentrocha collision. That light is always prominently and lit amongst everything going on. Here we go. Make way. Crew. You guys have a card game going in the alley. Deal me in. Hey, it's the governor's mother playing May I? Mother May I? Governor McGreed. Clear 
That's exactly right. Oh yeah. Elmwood. Let's go broad towards the city. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, we're at the city yet. Sure. Okay, thank you. Well, do I hear? I thought I heard ATV engines. Oh yeah. Here we go. Oh, folks. I'll follow them. So what? Follow them. Folks, Southside Motorcycle Gang. Look at that shot right there. Folks, you are looking live. Let's just follow them. Thank you for all the stars on this Friday night. Yes. Yeah, let's just stay with behind them. Folks, send 200 stars if you want us to just follow the bikes. Did we lose the bikes? No. I think I hear them. I don't think they went too far. Okay. Yeah.
usually they do the loop and come back up. Oh, yeah. I think, we got an, I think we got another chase here. Okay. Alright folks, we got another chase. Yep. I even brother's getting real fancy. Yeah. And with the flashing light. Underglow. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that a dog? Somebody's got a dog? Canine. Canine. That's what I meant. Right, we'll head towards the highway. Now, folks, remember right now, if you're watching this on uh, YouTube or on demand, uh, all of our episodes are both on YouTube, also Facebook Live, obviously, on demand. Subscribe to the page. We'll also post all the videos on the website, petro.com. Uh, next week, we will have a Charlotte Lester update. Visit their page, by the way which is uh, help us find Charlotte Lester on Facebook. They've been doing a lot of updates. Folks, last summer at this time, we were all over that case. And right now, we wait. We were told that uh, things were in motion, but right now it's going a little quiet. The family's been very, very outspoken, though. Good thing. We were in Cranston tonight for the standoff. That was great. It's been the most excitement. And we'll do a re video recap of that as well. Now, folks, just a reminder. Um, you know, we go on and off. Definitely be monitoring news all weekend. This is the time. Fourth of July, for those that uh, maybe you missed it, Fourth of July, we had the standoff at Warrington, Barrington. Last night was the uh, carjacking in East Providence. Tonight, armed standoff in Cranston. Who knows what the remainder of the night will bring or what tomorrow or tomorrow night will bring. Or Sunday. Remember, Sunday is family. A lot of families get together on Sundays. Especially in the inner city, Sundays are very busy. 
and this time of year we go seven days with on the same live stream. And very soon we expect to have some other announcements regarding the programming. But I think we're going to have the announcements, two big ones, both this month, month of July. Pretty sure. And you're going to love it. It's all good. All good news things happening. Folks, remember, share the page. Um, if you're a subscriber, you know, have a friend, family member, friend, whatever. We want as many people as possible. Build it up. Allows us to do more. But as many of you know, I mean, there's nothing to watch on television. So, all summer long, everything, it's not your imagination. The amount of drugs that are out there, and people are just going off. And we're going to bring it to you. Remember, folks, I am just here to document the sinking of the Titanic. I'm not trying to save the world. Not with Governor McGreed. Yeah, please stay out of submarines. <laughs> That's right, yes. We have no plans to be in a submarine. All right, well, we, we started out very busy. And then all of a sudden you hit a little bit of a patch. this crowd. I agree. It seems like a no-brainer to save McCoy, but folks, it's pay to play. McKee wants the guy to pay him off in order to, to do it. It's Notice McKee has not said a word. He doesn't say, boy, that sounds like a great idea. He doesn't say anything. Because he wants to meet Mr. Green. And I, I want everyone to know, I mean, we're, you know, listen, you can't be everywhere, but we're not missing any huge stories, put it that way. We're not missing any, like, major things. There's always going to be little things. Uh, you know, I, I wish I had been at the FBI raid in Johnston the other day, but it was just a timing thing. I wish I was in North Providence today when they were emptying the storage unit. Yeah, I wish I was there. I wish I was up on the hill. I would have grabbed the Barra Bonds, Canary Islands, Van Zandt. But but for the most part, just know. I mean, we're out. We monitor. Um, and it's like the other night. I mean, if there's a shooting at four o'clock, I mean, you, you can't you can't be everywhere. from West Warwick tonight. Here we go. Yep. Well, we've spent time North Providence, Providence, Cranston. Slowly start to make our way back to King County. Absolutely. You guys deserve it. Remember, I like to provide the coverage that I like to watch.
great to be back riding with Mark. Both thumbs up for him. Fantastic. We have many exciting nights ahead. And folks, I don't know if I ever need to mention we were the only ones on the scene in Cranston. If you did see Channel 10, they saw my feed and they ended up in Barrington as well. Um, one of the television stations asked me about East Providence. But, but we do as it's happening. Now people are asking me like about this shoreline lawsuit filed over the shoreline. No, I'm not doing I'm not doing that. I don't care. Sounds like paint dry. No, no. We like the action. I can do the shoreline. No. Not unless there's a standoff and someone's like in the house and then the Coast Guard has to come get them. Yeah, we're on the twenty one now. There's do it bad. Now, here's the thing. It is Friday night. It is 10.48. We continue to monitor the news, but we will be active all weekend. But this has been a good Friday night. Whoa. Oh, what is that? That bolo potato. Oh, okay. Wow. That's a lot of vehicles. Folks, I want to thank everyone for tuning in. It is one. We want to thank Mark. Keep, stay tuned. Keep calling from 593 Wood Avenue. Oh, what's this? No, it's not okay. Oh, too far. All right, folks, make sure you follow the page, subscribe to the page, then you find out when we go live. Something major happens. I am still awake. We will cover it. Thank you to all the stars. Thank you, everybody. Folks, thank you. And you've been watching one on-the-scene live stream. Yes. We'll be back all weekend.